Hi folks and welcome. I hope you are having a good day. Get some folks in here. I hope I made a quick post over on Instagram that we're gonna be doing an unboxing. We've got Mudcat Whiskers. Got a big box in here. Um, so I will get into that in just a second. In fact, here is the box. You can see it is a big one. All right, so I got my overhead shot ready for these big unboxings that I got. Hello, Irish and Bearded. We got E-Rock in the house. Good to see you guys. Thanks for stopping in. We won't uh, tarry here long. We're going to get into this box. I saw a little preview on Instagram. Nick uh, was teasing me with it and teasing all you guys with it last week. Hey, Cam, good to see you, man. Uh, I don't know. Let me know if you've tried Mud Cat Whiskers. This will be my first time. So I've got this big box here that we will get into. See what we've got. See what it smells like. I got the website all pulled up as well. So we can take a look at anything, the carrier blend, the prices, all of that. And then it's going to take me a while to use all this stuff up, I know, because it's a big old box. And then uh, probably next month we'll get the review on this, because I definitely will need several weeks to try everything out. e -Rock, that doesn't surprise me. Seems like everything I review you go, I haven't tried them yet. To get you buying some more stuff. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool, guys. Let me swivel this around. So we got that. We got a 20% off coupon. And then look at this paper. It's like old timey stuff. So mud cat, you know, that's a catfish that's out of Louisiana. Oh, so Cam's got a gift card, but he can't decide what to get. Maybe I can uh, help help that out here as I take some little sniffs at this. Hey, Billy, good to see you, man. We're unboxing a little mud cat whiskers, and already I'm digging the presentation with this, uh, this wrapping paper that he used. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. All right. I'm really excited about Paw Paul's Pipe because I love a good tobacco scent. So I got Paw Paul's Pipe and that is in Beard Balm. I've got uh, Ken. I might have to send this one to Ken. We got leather or Emo or Andrew, one of you leather heads. We got some leather. We got Zydeco. And I'll look, I'll look up the scent profiles if I need to. But I just remember when we had the um, March Madness live stream and they were part of it. And I was featuring everybody for five minutes. I went through some of these scents uh, on the uh, website. And I was like, oh, my goodness, this sounds so good. We got Boudreaux. We got Nick in the house. Good to see you. We got the overhead shot working. And I love this, uh, this paper, this old-timey paper that you got on here there, Nick. Looking great. So... And now we're going to uh, let's unwrap some of these oils here, and I'll show them to you as I get them unwrapped. Got to unwrap them and take off the little seals as we go here. And I have to get not in too not in not too big of a hurry because if you do, you will get in trouble with all these little wrapping things. You think you're good, and then you got to go back and take off these little doohickeys. All right, so that one's, uh, this one is Bayou Black. Maybe I should put it down here. There we go. That's a little bit better. So we got Bayou Black. Let's see what else we've got. Nick, how many scents do you have currently? I know you got a few that you kind of go in and out, or you've got some new ones that, are, that might be kind of temporary, but then there's a whole lot on your website as well. All right, this one is Jean-Luc. Oops. So Jean-Luc. It's this one. Man, there's all kind of goodness in here. And the next one is the Zydeco, which I saw that in the balm. By the way, the uh, ingredients, jojoba, hemp seed, argan, vitamin E. And it says essentials and fragrance. So it sounds like a good blend. 
We'll check that out. So this one's the Zydeco. And we'll sniff them all in a minute. I kind of had to get everything laid out here. Oh, Paw Paul's pipe. I'm a sucker for a good pipe tobacco scent. And then we've got, looks like we got a couple butters and maybe a wash conditioner kind of deal. These are nice big butters. There's the Jean-Luc beard butter. That's got to be four ounces. That thing's heavy. Ingredients on it is Takuma butter. Now, I've never heard of that one. Takuma butter, sal butter, kapuasu, babasu oil, cucumber seed oil. That was new for me. Castor oil, uh, tamanu oil, meadow foam seed oil, jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, argan fragrance. I think that's just about ready for a mic drop moment after that. that those are good looking containers. Hey, Ryan, you've got the leather one. I've got that one here as well. Check that one out. Hey, Billy. Good to see you. Troy says that Zydeco is good and Boudreaux. They're all good. You haven't tried? Yeah, that's the, that's the thing about it. There's so many to choose from. So there's the leather one. If I remember right, it's not just plain leather. Everything else I read was so complex. I don't think it'll be just plain leather, but we'll see in a minute. Billy, your, uh, your, your new goatee looks good, man. I had another oil here that I missed, and that was the leather that goes along with the uh, oil and balm. So I got the trio in the leather for all you leather lovers out there. These little seals slow me down. They slow anybody else down? You just want to get into it and smell it. You're like, come on, thing. Get off of here. Oh, you got Paw Paul's pipe in wash and conditioner. Cool. I didn't know that they came in scents. Oh, leather is very much a cologne. Ah, oh, cool. I'm looking forward to trying that out. And there is the, the leather on that. Still getting used to my overhead shot about which camera to stick this up to. I think the, the lighting works better here than up here because I don't have lighting on this side because it would go over my glasses and you'd have a big glare on them. <clears throat> All right, over 20 cents so far. That is a lot. That's a lot. I always wonder about that with, with company owners. It's like, should you have, you know, 8 to 12 cents and then rotate through seasonal ones? Or, you know, if, or if it's that good and they're not that hard to make, keep keep that many? I don't know. Some guys are, you know, they're collectors. They want to collect all of them. So I got a conditioner in the Bayou Black. Seems like it's pretty, uh, pretty thick. I'll check it out. All right, so the quarter, now that's leather. It's really good. Cool. I know some people will like that. So thank you for uh, uh, Troy and anybody else who's tried stuff, Ryan, about kind of chiming in on your thoughts. Because like I said, it's my first time. And if people are kind of watching through this, they can see what might be good for them. We've got the Bayou Black in the beard wash as well. Yeah, and that doesn't seem super thin. You know, sometimes handmade washes can get super thin for sure. All right, here we go. What should we? I've got to try it. I've got to try the Paw Paul's pipe. All right, I'm going to try the Paw Paul's pipe. I got the website. Oh, I didn't take the little thing off. I took, thought I took them off. Let me get them all ready. Wait a minute. There's something else hiding. I got another oil down in there. You guys got to tell me that. All right, let me see what this other oil is first. I'm excited. I haven't gotten a lot of beard mail. I went for several months there and just didn't get a whole lot. So now I've got a, I got some stuff coming in. So it's pretty cool. Um, and I won't do unboxings for every company because that's just becomes way too much. But if it's a new company or if I get a particularly big box, I think it's pretty cool to do this live. You guys can ch chime in. Pretty cool. Okay, that was everything in the box. All right. So this one was Boudreaux. Boudreaux. All right, so I'm going back in for the uh, Paw Paul's pipe. So we got the Paw Paul's pipe. I haven't done I haven't done live uh, live sniffs in a long time. I used to do unboxings all the time, and then I got away from it. Yeah, that's um, that's a nice tobacco. It's got a little bit of bite on it, but it's not peppery. 
pretty smooth. It's not overly sweet, and it, it is definitely, uh, you definitely get the pipe tobacco. Some tobacco scents, it's like, I don't really get any tobacco. What's going on here? That one, you get a nice uh, tobacco, pipe tobacco with a little bit of bite to it, but not peppery. So that one smells great. All right, next up, let's try Boudreaux. Boudreaux, I gotta get it over here right in front of the camera. I get my lighting a little bit better for this. Yes, they, uh, that one's a lot lighter, so kind of sweeter. A little bit of a cologne vibe, like a sweet, smooth cologne. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one a lot. All right. Uh, all right. The leather you said was a cologne. So let's try that leather. See what we get out of it. Thank you guys for joining me. I know this was kind of short notice. I don't want to make a big, huge event and why everybody else has got live streams. I'm just doing kind of a quick unboxing. Yeah. So that one's more of a medium as far as where it hits, hits your nose. So kind of a medium, good cologne. I do get a little bit of that leather in the back, but it's definitely mixed more as a cologne than it is a, a you know a natural leather kind of scent. All right, that's cool. All right, Zydeco. I've heard that, about that one for a long time, so I think that might be one. Is that one of your first scents, uh, Nick? I'm not sure which ones you came out with first and how many you came out with first, but I've heard of, heard of Zydeco for a long time. I'm going to have to read that one to see what's in it. It's not a cologne. I don't know if I can explain that one. It's kind of a cleaner scent, yet there's something on the end of it too. I'm gonna have to read that one. That one's in. That one's definitely intriguing. It's not something I don't know if I've smelled anything like that one. Let's try the Jean Luc. Oh no! Yeah, you can restream. You can restream there, Brandon. I haven't. I've opened them. Uh, but I haven't smelled him yet, so I'm going through. So, so far we've done Paul Paul's Pipe, Boudreaux, Leather, Zydeco, and then I've got some other stuff to take a look at when we look at the website too. So let's do Jean-Luc. Satsuma and Cayenne. I thought I was getting a little little bite there at the end. I'm not sure what Satsuma is. I don't think I've ever smelled anything with Satsuma. This one is Jean-Luc. That one's a little bit more towards a cologne. Man, but they're all different. Those are some good scents. I can't wait to try these in the beard. I, and I, as far as I know, I can go ahead and start that tomorrow. I don't, I don't have a huge like schedule. I got to do this from this day to this day. I just kind of wear the stuff as I wear it. And once I wear everything several times, feel like I can do a good review. I do it. I do have several other reviews to 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 work on, but I can mix in a couple of these here and there. And then I've heard great things about Bayou Black. So let's try that one out. Brandon, how you like my overhead shot? My dual cameras there. I got my phone up here. <laughs> Seems to work pretty well. Oh, I like that one. That was sweeter. Man, I'm going to have to read some of these scent profiles. But uh, needless to say, guys, these are good. They are all good into the nose, out of the bottle. Obviously, I've got to wear them and see how they, uh, the feels in the beer, but also how things, these are pretty complex. I can see them doing a little bit of um, changing throughout the day, but we'll read the scent profiles in just a minute. Oh, I gotcha. So Satsuma is an orange tangerine sort. Yeah. Yeah, Brandon, let me know. It's not that difficult. I just got my, it's, it's just my phone, right? I can tell you I've got a good app that you can use to shoot through, um, but you know, you know all about the camera stuff a lot more than I do. All right, let's try it. Let's see what this uh, uh, butter is like. So here's the leather one, which isn't exactly leather, uh, as we smelled earlier. And the ingredients on this seem to be top notch. Feels heavy. Of course, some of that is the jar. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Uh-oh. <laughs> I need to call in my wife to help me open this thing. <laughs> oh, I got it. Crisis averted, guys. All right, we definitely had some shifting around, but that's okay because it looks like it's a poured butter anyway, right? If not, it's poured now. Yeah, it smells the same. Yeah, I'm not getting any butters or anything. I mean, um, you know, smell of the natural butters because I didn't see, was Shea in it? I don't think Shea was in it, and that's usually the one that really smells. Yeah, 
that there's no grit in that for sure. Yeah, so that's a nice, nice butter there. It's dense, but it's um, it breaks down really easy. It's not going to have any friction going in your beer. <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's poured. I figured as much down in in Louisiana. Is that Louisiana or Louisiana? I think I guess it probably depends on where you're at. Yeah, I saw somebody hit that thumbs up button. Thank you for hitting that for me, guys. Uh, yeah, I don't think you screwed it a bit tight. I was just weak. It's, it's me. I'm weak. And then the other one was the Jean-Luc in the butter. Nick, thank you for sending me all this stuff out. I appreciate it. I'm trying to show it off as best I can. Yeah, Billy, take care, man. And this one didn't shift at all. So I don't know. It's kind of weird. Really interesting. Interesting scents. Uh, and I knew they were going to be interesting because I read some of the scent profiles back in, in March. <laughs> yeah, he had, the, I, I agree. He had the, uh, the Hulk screw on it. I got it though. I got it. Hmm? Yeah, and that's right, Billy. My wife would have come come to the rescue. Let's see what the ah, look at that. Just screwed right off. Let's see what the bomb looks like on how thick that is. Oh, that's white. Might have the white white beeswax in it. Yeah, so pretty white on that. That looks nice, nice and smooth. All right, that looks to be right down the middle, medium because my finger will go in it if I press really hard. Yeah, been trying out some balms lately, getting some balms back in my beard. I actually find that I like uh, balms. Obviously, I've got a little bit shorter beard than some of you guys, but I actually like wearing them when I'm wear gonna wear a mask all day, just because to me, I feel like my beard's more protected and all of the, uh, the you know, the humidity and stuff that, I, that I, I caused myself by breathing in it, I feel like it's, uh, my beard stays conditioned longer with the little bit of that beeswax mixed in. Yeah, I forgot to eat my wheat. I got it though, so you know you can't you can't get me on that. I tried. I, I conquered it eventually. Yeah, these balms look super good. Yeah, I smelled some things like a couple of them, but definitely I would say at least half of these are pretty unique in that I've never smelled anything like them, and I. I've tried over 500 cents at this point, guys, in three and a half years of doing this. Paw Paw's pipe. Yeah, that might have a little, this one, the Paw Paw's pipe might be a, a little bit smoother. I know what that'll happen a lot is when you put have something with a lot of beeswax, it's kind of knocks the top notes off uh, that you can get out of the bottle of beard oil. Uh, but that, that so sometimes you can kind of get a hint about what it's going to settle into after you put it in your beard, actually. And then Zydeco. I like that one. Yeah, now I get the I get the orange now that you've said that. I get that a little bit more. Even this one may even ha not have orange. I can't keep up with all that stuff. But very cool. Very cool. I had the uh, Bayou Black is the scent that I got in the wash and the conditioner. I'll take a look at that real quick if I can. To see what's going on with it. Oh, that's going to be a nice scent in the shower. And a lot of a lot of companies they don't have uh, different scents. Do you do you offer your own um, washing conditioner in in all your scents, or just a select few, or just this one, Nick? Nice and nice and thick. I think that's going to do well. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm not, I'm, and that's definitely some thick, creamy uh, conditioner. I usually like a really low stripping daily kind of wash. I don't usually like stripping my beard out. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, Billy. I saw that. That was funny. It's like, we'll take the hammer to it and get the thing off. But they, they got it. They're going to get into that beard butter somehow. Good to see you, uh, American Goatee. I saw you pop in here. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions for myself or Nick about any of these. And I do want to take a look just real quick at the website, you know, because I can. I want to take a look at the scent profiles a little bit more uh, to you, for you guys, and then I'll get off of here. But we read out the carriers uh, just a, a bit ago. Hello, Bearded Living. I don't know if I've seen you on here before. Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate that. We're doing a little unboxing here for Mug Cat Whiskers. That's some awesome scents. Um, let's take a look at a few of them here. Okay, so I got the Jean-Luc earlier, so let's see what that one was. Earl Grey tea, so black tea and bergamot, verbena, and a hint of lemon. 
Oh, now I got to smell that again. <laughs> now that I can read the profile, I like going back to see if I can get it. Yeah, I can get I can get that now. I definitely get the tea, lemon lemon tea, and the lemon is just very faint. I don't like lemon scents a whole lot. Lemon and lime, I, I can only take a little bit of, and I love orange. It's kind of I, I like my citruses, but some I like better than others. It's kind of interesting. Uh, Boudreaux, I've gotten. And this one is clean blend featuring black salt, uh, cypress, green bamboo, and summer rain. All right, let's try that one again. Oh, yeah, that no, Boudreaux. I gotta find it. Yeah, I do get the rain and the bamboo a little bit now that I can see that it's in there. That's cool. I think the cypress and stuff gets a, makes it a little bit more unique than other ones that I've smelled before. Well, let's see what I got. I well, no don't get, get that one, didn't get this one. Look at all this stuff, man. That was Boudreaux. Bayou Black is the one I've got in the wash and conditioner as well. And that one is, uh, you had me at Amber. Amber is one of my favorites. And amber and then lavender I don't like at all and I didn't I didn't get lavender in it I'm gonna go back and try it again now that I see it with earthy tones softened with deep vanilla man that does sound smooth for sure I'm go back and smell it in the oil okay I definitely get the vanilla and the amber I don't get lavender which is good for me because I don't like lavender Especially if it's really lavender forward, but that's that's definitely good. Can't wait to try these. Oh, I forgot what all I got. <laughs> There's the leather. So the leather one was hints of cedar wood, which I love cedar. But our newest scent. Yeah, so it's more like the cedar leather cologne is what you get out of that. And then Paul Paul's pipe, and I'm not sure if I've gotten to all of them or not, but obviously that one was Paul Paul's pipe. Uh, do, 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 do. Cherry, dark cherry pipe tobacco, unlike any other. Yeah. Very cool stuff, guys. I hope you check out uh, Mudcab Whiskers and be looking back here uh, probably next month. I hope I can get through all this by next month. I've got one last one here, the Zydeco, which I was really unique was there it is there's the satness that was the satsuma and the cayenne a sweet yet zesty aroma which is exactly what you get so very cool stuff very cool stuff so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that i know i enjoyed it uh i wish we had smell of vision you could enjoy it a little bit more right guys uh but anyway as always i appreciate you guys joining me and don't forget that on friday we'll be doing karaoke night i do karaoke on fridays mostly country songs uh, and sometimes we have different themes last week we did george Strait. this week i think we're going to do story songs songs that tell a story which country music can do like no other and i hope to see you guys there and be looking for a review soon on mug cat whiskers and thank you guys so much let's see if we can take this thing on out of here mm -hmm.